This is the Ultra Modern House. A very cool build design and we're gonna be able to do this thing together. It's a step-by-step -step tutorial. So hang out with me guys while we do this. What is going on Geeks Unite the Clans here back in your life with another ARC building tutorial. The Bob Ross of ARC about to show you around. So uh, we've got a little landing spot up here for flyers. You can access it with a ladder. And if you come on inside, you've got this big main space and we've used Structures Plus in this build. So you see the glass throughout this place. You guys could just do a greenhouse and uh, get roughly the same effect. Uh, it would still look good, but we use the Structures Plus stuff. Um, so if you're seeing new stuff, that's what it is. So here's your main floor, lots of space. Now I added this little room up above the garage. Check it out. Plenty of room up here. I don't know what you're going to do with it. Uh, and if you come down to this uh, glass floor, you can go down to a lower level. And this one is huge. It's going to have room for whatever you need to put in your build. We've also got one small room up here that you could use this as a bedroom, workshop, whatever you feel like. All right. Now, if we come out this at exit here. We're gonna head straight into our garage. That's right, we got a garage. <laughs> and it's got room for a woolly rhino. And this is the build. Sit back, let's do it together, guys. How you doing, guys? Welcome back to another building tutorial. Thank you for coming to hang out with me today. And I have picked a beautiful spot for us to get started. So you want somewhere with an amazing view. I'm going to do this at 67.8, 21.5 on the center. And um, these are our materials. So I'm using Structures Plus. So uh, in the case of stone foundations and this glass stuff you see here, um, you can use the vanilla stuff, use greenhouse glass, whatever. And we also have a bunch of metal, a little bit of wood and a little bit of stone. Here's my best guess at the um, resources needed. Um, I have a rough design in mind and then we're gonna improvise a little bit as we go. Take a little inspiration from the way Corrales did his Minecraft tutorials. That's what you're gonna need. Structures plus stone and glass can just be replaced with vanilla. To head over here guys, we're gonna wanna build this thing three wide. And um, my best guess is 14 long. That's what we're gonna do in this first version and we might edit it as we go. Um, I just wanna be able to make some changes to this design as we move on. So three wide and we're gonna go 14, including the block we're standing on. All right, and now come three wide on this side and we're gonna fill in all this space here, guys. So. Today's patron shout out, and this is something I try and do in all my building videos, is NSK. He supports me on Patreon and uh, NSK. Uh, this is his channel link. You can find it in the description too. He makes YouTube videos playing ARC just like me. Thank you for your support, my friend. So back up the Rhino, guys. Uh, we're going to aim to have a garage that's three wide on the interior and five wide uh, overall. And a Rhino is going to fit in there if you make it three high. So the next step, and this will be a little harder without Structures Plus, is to lay out a driveway. Now this only has to be like a three by three to get a good effect. But the longer you can make it, the better. And with Structures Plus, you can build right into the ground. So it works out great. Now, time to get started on our garage. So we're gonna get started with metal walls. Uh, we're gonna fill in this side wall and it's gonna be four uh, walls high, built entirely out of metal walls. All right, so we've got it four high on the side. Now we're gonna come around and do the front here. Four high, that's the left side of your garage. We can do the right side as well. And this forms one of the edges of our main entrance as well. So four blocks high. All right, now we'll fill in the back before we attempt to close in the top of the garage there. So I'm not gonna fill this in entirely. I think what we're gonna do is try and incorporate um, some metal railings. Um, I'd like this to be a partially like see-through build. It's gonna have a big glass section. And um, if we use railings here, we get more of that effect. It forms a like a back to the garage, but it also gives us a, a good clear view of the crazy insane landscapes behind me here. So I'll fill this in uh, four railings or two walls high and all the way uh, three across the back of your garage. All right, so what I wanna do is uh, to be able to wall across the front of the garage here. So we're gonna go ahead and put in a um, 
row of ceilings across here. And you could actually just do it above and uh, you'd be able to build the walls hanging underneath. And actually we might as well go ahead and build our ceilings above too, because uh, this is gonna be the top of the garage. But we need that lower layer there to, uh, to make it look like the garage is a solid block. Uh, so it's going to have these one wall thick walls and it's going to look super chunky and modern. So let's go ahead and grab more metal walls. We'll begin closing in this garage and we'll see how it looks. I think it's going to work best like that. You could bring your railings one higher if you wanted to have the railings uh, three high, but I think I like it like this. Yeah, that looks good to me. All right, guys. So if you just do the top, you're not going to have this issue. My uh, pieces are moving around, and it's because I have two different snap points. And there you go. So you're going to want to frame in the garage just like this. And like I said, we're making all the walls one thick, uh, except the back, really. Uh, so over here on the side, grab more metal walls. Now, this is a space that I don't really use in the design. Uh, so if you want to incorporate uh, a little way to use the space that's in behind here, go ahead and do it. But uh, what I want to do is close off um, this sidewall of the garage, just mainly for looks, but you're going to have space on the inside if you need it. You can make a staircase up there, um, but let's do the same thing on this side. On this side, we'll probably want to add in a door frame at some point um, that will uh, give us access to the rest of the house. So let's just build up three high, and then we're going to take the ceilings across, and I think we're going to have a little one high space up here above the garage, um, which we'll be able to incorporate into the build. All right, so let's seal up this little space right here. And like I said, you're welcome to use that, uh, that left side of the garage. I did not. Welcome back, guys. So we are going to continue building the front as the rain begins to fall. You're going to, go on, going to want to go three high with your metal walls and go all the way to the second last uh, stone foundation. Leave the last one with no walls up. So come around to the side of the house and on the right side with your metal walls build two high and then if you come around to the back of the house right around the corner from that you can build three high with your metal walls and you're going to want to do this uh, across the back of the house. So we'll do this five foundations across and um, that will leave a space with four in the middle. So. Uh, if you have come across five, there are now four foundations along the back with nothing on them. So we're going to use this to build one of the big features. Get your stone walls. And uh, if I recall, we're going to build eight high. All right, so the left side is in place here. I was just counting them out. I'll do it with you guys. So that's two, three, uh, four brings you up to the height of the garage, five, six, seven, and eight. So for this next step, if you're using uh, vanilla or default, uh, use the uh, greenhouse glass. We are going to be using the structures plus glass instead. So we're going to head down to the bottom here and you're going to fill in this entire area. So uh, two wide and eight high with glass. And when you get to the top, sorry, uh, so seven high with the glass, when you get to the top, go across with stone. And this is how it looks, just in time for the rain to end. Okay, so we've added in a big modern feature. Uh, another feature that modern houses often have is this weird little overhang, and another one is wood incorporated with super modern materials. So that's what we're setting up here. Um, so build these ceilings off the end of the house, uh, your, the right side of your house, and uh, we're gonna hang the uh, walls from the uh, bottom of the ceilings, and that's gonna set us up to build this little overhang area. So ceilings underneath here, and we'll need to go actually one off to the side. Uh, before you put the ceiling in, put your uh, walls in, because uh, then you'll only have the one snap point. It'll make your life much simpler. So we'll go one ceiling across, we'll hang our wall, and then we'll build the ceilings from underneath. That's how I'd wanna do it. Okay, and just like that, we've set up a space to incorporate some wood into this design. Um, but for now, just to make the most of the space that we've created, we're gonna go ahead and remove these top ceilings. We just use those as a guide. All right, so what I wanna do is set up, before we begin putting in the wood, we're gonna make room for uh, 
a lot of it. Um, so we'll continue building with metal and we'll try and use up, uh, we'll try and build all the metal walls uh, involved in this place. So come around to the right side of the house. You're going to want to fill it in. We're going four blocks high or four walls high off that overhang ceiling, the lower one. And I think this makes the structure six tall overall now. All right, so with this in place, guys, it's time to begin, I think, adding in some of our wood details. So wood walls, and we're going to use them inside out. So uh, you flip them. I think the default key is E. I think it's the Y button if you're on a console. Uh, but you don't have to flip them. If you can't flip them, uh, you can just build them with the standard texture. And this place is still going to look good. You'll get the same effect. Uh, if you do want to flip them, go put them inside out and fill in that little space. Uh, and we're going to add in more. We're going to add in more on top of the wall here. Okay, so now with a couple door frames. And we're going to use uh, the S plus glass door. Like I said, use the greenhouse glass door if you need to. All right, now walls, once again, we're flipping them inside out to get that out, uh, other side texture. Uh, you could accomplish the same thing by playing around with ceilings and having ceilings hanging off the outside. People often have trouble with flipping things. I'm not sure why, but um, so we're gonna build a total of five by two here. So it's a four by two with the walls and two door frames at the end. And that is going to frame in the front of our house. So uh, we're gonna wanna put metal walls on top. And if you did flip the wood, flip the metal so it's back in line and it's facing the front. Uh, and it changes the snap point. So uh, once you've got that done, we're gonna head to the back of the house and we're gonna play around with some designs for this. Yeah, I wanna see how this looks. We might try out a few different designs. The first one I'm thinking is door frames with more glass doors and if we do this all the way across the back it might turn out looking cool all right i'm gonna put some doors in now i didn't like it guys we're trying another option so uh we're just gonna i put metal walls along the bottom and we're gonna try just one row of this instead of two and glass doors in place and i think that could work two was too much i don't want as much wood on the back as we had on the front um, so let's try walls across the top and we'll make sure we flip them just like we did on the front. I think I like that. I think that suits the build. I might try just that. Is that too little? All right, so this is what I was hoping to do with this one, guys. Just improvise and find the best option. I don't know what... I think we're going to go back to a door frame uh, and... A glass door in it will have that four wide and I think that's gonna work for us yeah that's gonna look good join me up near the top of the house here guys where we're gonna be adding in stone ceilings uh, we're gonna do this across the top of this stone wall we've put in place and we'll use these to build down from now this is more of a facade than it is a big part of the structure so we're only gonna build it where it's gonna be visible so I know for sure that our garage roof comes to here. So I'm not going to keep building lower than this. Whoops. Let me fix this. Um, I'm going to build to here. Uh, and I guess we got to figure out how to do that on the right side too. So I'm going to build across this way. And I'll build down. All right. Let me see, guys. Uh, I, I wanted to mention, and I usually do in all my building tutorials, if this makes a big difference for you, if you're living in a much cooler house because of some tutorial of mine, go ahead and share it around. Uh, it's helping the channel grow, the more people that discover this stuff, and um, I appreciate it. And this is ambitious, I know, guys, so it'll be a longer video. Go ahead and add in glass one level lower and stone on either side. And if you end up building this or any of my other ones, I want you guys to tweet at me. I'm at Unite the Clans. You can also tweet at Bob Ross of Arc. I'm not on that one as much, but you're welcome to use it. And um, we're going to finish this off by taking the stone on the left side all the way to the bottom. And that's going to frame in our entrance. When we come back, we're going to work on the roof. All right, time to get started on the ceiling, guys. You're going to want metal ceilings and you're going to want to fill in just about all of the space above the right side of your house. You're going to stop uh, just in line, basically, with this last bit of stone. We may end up taking it further, but for now, I just want to fill in this area. All right, so we are going to do work on another overhang section. So that's why I've built these out, and we're going to hang ceilings below. Um, and uh, Sorry, hang walls from them and hang ceilings below the walls. So 
I guess we're gonna have to snap to this on the right. And this is gonna frame in once again that one thick, one wall thick uh, impression that all the walls in this place are gonna have. Everything's chunky. And you can see the beginning of the interior beginning to be formed here. So we are gonna do a little work over top of our main entrance and try and get things in shape here, guys. Uh, starting with a couple ceilings over the top, we're gonna use a wall to hang below. And once again, we wanna capture the idea that everything is thick here. So um, we'll build a sort of a, a, a roof to the entrance that makes the, uh, the roof look thick. And we'll go ahead and add on sides at some point. Right here, we need to squeeze in walls uh, and if you hadn't built the ceilings on the bottom, these would only have one snap point. They'd be super easy. I'm probably going to have to play around with these like a perfectionist. All right, so let's head down. Uh, I'm curious. I'm, I'm not sure what to work on next, guys. We do need to lay in this little uh, front deck area. Um, this is a landing and uh, a really one of the better places in this build. Uh, one of my favorite spots in it. Um, I know for sure that once we have this in place, we're going to add railings on the front. So we just have to figure out how wide those railings are going to be. And I think we might try extending this a little bit further out. So just start with the top ceilings. And um, we're going to want to hang walls below. So this will make your life simple if you only have the upper ceilings in place. And then you can come below and hang the lower ones. I think if we take the overhang further across, we're going to do the same with the wooden walls. So let's get that ceiling out of there. Um, we're going to mess around inside out walls. And then you can probably put your ceiling back. It was just messing up snap points for me, guys. All right, I'm liking the way this is looking. Now it's time to integrate these metal railings. Let's go two high, just like we did on the back of the garage, and we'll do three across. Oh, and if you're a perfectionist, you may want to make sure they are all perfectly in line. All right, let me fix this. There we go. Patience is a virtue. Perfect. So that is how the entrance of the house is coming together. We do need to do the lower entrance, and we got to do that upper deck entrance. All right, so down here, we're going to want to continue this theme of thick, sturdy, modern walls. So we're building down from that ceiling we put above our entrance. Um, and I just need to decide on the space, the proportions. Um, this space on the left is one I think we're going to end up using as a staircase to get upstairs. On the right, we're going to need an entrance uh, at some point over here to the rest of the house. But I just want to see how this is going to look with walls in place. Let's take these out. And I think that's how we want to do it. So we may add in, yeah, let's add in a door frame right here. We'll do a wall over top. And I think we're going to want an entrance to the garage from this main entrance. Uh, all good suburban modern houses have a little pass through from your house to your garage. So we'll actually fill in this space and keep giving you the impression that everything is thick and sturdy. Put walls on either side and maybe a ceiling. Yeah, let's put a ceiling on top like that. And now we got to pass through to the garage. I like it. I think that's subtle enough. And there's your main entrance. Yeah, this is going to work out for us. So we'll go ahead and put in these glass doors. Use the greenhouse ones if that's all you've got. And this is how we're looking. Um, back up here on the deck and ready to work out some details with you guys. Um, take the wood one more around the corner. And I think we're going to use glass here. So I'll do a door frame on the bottom. Um, you may have a couple different snap points. I know I do. I might have messed something up. Uh, and we'll do a glass wall above it. And put a glass door in place. And this is your upper floor main entrance. I like the way we got the wood here. It creates like a little privacy feeling just inside your entrance. Um, and this is the interior space. All right, so head down here through your uh, doors into your garage. And we need actually a door on this part right here. So let's go ahead and put another one of those glass doors here. Perfect. And we'll pass through. And you know what? I'm starting to question. Maybe we want this door. Maybe we want it off center. I don't like how they're perfectly lined up with each other. So let's try this out. Um, I like that we're getting to mess around and play with different options for this build. And I think this is... I like this one. So we'll put a wall right here. Go ahead and try a new door here. And we'll see how this feels. I like that better already. It just feels more ultra modern. It suits me. That's perfect. Okay. 
back into the house. And what do we do with this interior space? It's vast, it's large, and we got to find a use for it. So we have a room here. Uh, the space created above our garage by making it look uh, like it was a wall thick. And I'd like to make use of it. I'd like to find ourselves a way to get up here. And maybe actually we should start with the ceilings. So I'm going to build through here. This actually, walking through this glass section, parts of this house make me feel like I'm in Tony Stark's house. I know it's not quite designed the same. And at least the Tony Stark from the movies did not have quite such a boxy house. It was a lot curvier. But um, like these little rooms, these feel like part of Iron Man's workshop a little bit to me. And the big glass, I like it. So how are we going to get in and out of that room? I think that's a question for a little later on because it, it's right in line with our deck. I think what we want to do is just close this off and we'll remember to open it up at some later stage here. All right, now we have this space up here above our doorway, um, our, our main entrance. And I think I can get rid of this stone wall just for the moment. And what I want to do is somehow take advantage of this weird little space we have. I think a staircase is in order, and we're going to do it most likely with some ramps. So let's start off with a metal ceiling here. We should have a ramp that'll snap to that. Uh, because I'm using Structures Plus, ramp snap the top of the ramp will snap to things. So you want to make sure you have your ceilings in place first if you're building it like I am. I'll put a wall here, and we've created another little free space right there underneath uh, this last tile. Uh, so there is more empty space if you can use it, guys. All right, so come on through here, and we might extend this. Um, if the staircase is leading up, it's got to lead up to somewhere. So I'm thinking maybe we have a little bedroom hidden up here. And let's build it out at least as far as the metal from our upper level. I think that's going to work. We'll make it as wide as the big stone archway. And let's uh, wall this in and see how it looks. I'm going to cap it off here with metal walls. And I think I'm going to try the glass here where you would um, get a clear uh, view directly out the window. So we're making the most of the views. They're not being wasted. And I have some weird snap points. Give me a sec. All right, so I want to try uh, an interesting way to separate this bedroom, guys. And I'm thinking um, a metal door frame. And do we do glass up above or do I do another bit of metal? I think I'll just make it a metal wall for now. And we'll see how this looks. And dang it, that's not quite in line. Let me solve my issue here, guys. There we go. Okay, so I think this could work. Is that going to look good? Glass door. And we'll replace this with stone. Uh, I just want to continue that look of stone going up. I think this could work. A really simple little bedroom, and we've created that space pretty easily. And welcome back, geeks. We are just going to attempt to lay out our second bedroom. And this is going to be how we're going to get up and down. My idea is to do a loft, and ideally, uh, with metal ceilings, to do it right under these windows up here. So I'm going to lay out a shape, uh, and we're going to actually have to figure out how to get up and down. So a staircase might be in order. Um, I'll just run these across here, and we'll take a look at it in a second. So I've got a tentative shape in mind. We've managed to uh, wrap most of this in railings, and you can see we've incorporated a staircase tentatively positioned there. And I think I've taken the staircase out here, guys. I want to work out how this floor is going to be laid out before we get into the up and down to the next level. So I'm going to go ahead and use the S plus glass ceilings. Once again, you can use the greenhouse stuff if that's all you have. And we're going to basically, at the at two walls off the lowest uh, foundation there, we are going to build another story. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and put another stone wall in there. We still need to connect to our uh, little room above the garage. But for now, let's add in an entrance from the landing. And I'll pop a ramp in place here. And that should do it with a railing there. I like it. All right, time for a staircase, guys. Let's line this up. Uh, I've played around with the, the shape of our loft upstairs. But do what you're going to do in your world. And uh, if you do it differently, I'd love to see the difference. So... Let's get upstairs, that's loud, and we'll see what we can do up here. Okay, so I can definitely fill in one of these, and I think I want to maintain this little um, Tetris piece shape to uh, this upper balcony. So we might go ahead and just add another railing in right here. I like it. I think that's going to work out for us. 
All right, now what to do on this main floor? So we still need to gain access to this little room here above the garage. What are we going to do with that? How are we going to get in and out? Um, before we get there, Jeez, oh, I'm not sure. So this is going to be a little deck area and we're going to be able to park flyers up here on top of the garage. So we're going to go add in a ladder. So we have all this space above the garage guys and I need to access it. So let's head inside here and we're actually going to put uh, door frames uh, probably right here, but we're going to have to figure out how uh, to ramp up because it is one level above us. So let's get that out of here. And I think a ramp is going to work perfectly here, but we'll probably have to do two levels of door frames just inside. So there we go with a ramp. Let's try a door frame here and another door frame right above it. And that's going to work for us. Okay, so this is how we get in and out. Maintains that stony, Tony Stark feel, doesn't mess with anybody's view, and you've got access to this cute little room. Now... Beyond access to that upper room, we have a whole lower floor down here, and we need access to that. So another spiral staircase might be the best bet. Um, let's try and find a spot that's going to work for us. I don't think that is. I'm going to be hitting my head on this, um, and we can't afford to remove this. So let's remove this one right here, guys. I think this is how we're going to do it. We'll rotate this staircase around a little bit. Let's get you out of the way. And... I think this is going to work. We're going to put railings all around the top once we've got this in place and see how it feels. Um, and if you guys have a more elegant, a simpler way to get in and out of your place when you build this, you show it to me. I'd love to see your version. All right. So that's where I'm putting my staircase. Uh, we're going to wrap railings all around the outside of this. And I think this will work for us. I think that's pretty simple. So we have staircases going all kinds of random directions, ramps and uh, stairwells. Let's put some glass doors in here. And that is the last major structural detail. The lighting is perfect, but I'm going to save the tour of this now finished build till after a coat of paint. Join me with some sky blue paint and we're going to paint the stone in this place. Guys, start with the walls that surround that gigantic arch made of glass and head inside. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you paint all of your stone foundations in sky blue as well. And that's not all. We're actually gonna paint the interior of our entranceways. Go ahead and set the gun instead of to all six regions to just one region, number one. And you're gonna to wanna to paint the uh, metal as it faces the interior of your entranceway. You can do the roofs, the doors, the walls, everything. And we're actually going to do the same over here in the garage. This is going to allow the inside to look bright and stand out. Remember, just region one and paint it all in sky blue. So that's it, guys. The interior looking good. Totally sky blued up. And it's time for us to get to some slate gray for the rest of the metal in this entire build. All right. So every bit of metal, guys, you're going to want to paint region one in slate gray. Now for some of these, you might want to paint some other regions so that you don't have the same silver spots on every tile. Paint some of the bolts, paint some of the um, supports, and continue with the slate gray. Paint all six regions of your railings. You're going to want to paint your ceiling tiles. Once again, back to region one and add in some other regions as you go for a little diversity. All right, and back here, guys, this is a key. Choose your own color, but you need something bright and something dramatic. For this glass, I'm painting it red, and I'm using all six regions. We're going to get a bright standout color, and um, this is key. You can see I tried some oranges on the other side. The red is the way to go. I love the way that looks. If you do other colors, be sure to let me know. All right, we're going to do the same to all the individual door frames. We're going to make those pop and stand out with some bright red paint. All right, doing the same right around our entrance, guys, and I think we'll do the same for the door and for this piece here. All right, guys, that is how the build is looking. I think we have completed this thing. Light blue paint really makes the inside of this pop as it does here and for our entrance check that out really contrasts with the dark paint now if we head inside you get a giant wall of glass uh, and we'll head upstairs to one of two little bedrooms this could be used as a workshop but it's a nice little hidden area and now we will look at this main floor it's huge it's got room for everything you're ever gonna need let's go up to the second floor made strictly of glass 
We have a little room above the garage. One high might be perfect for storage, kind of closed off, so I'm not sure what you'd use it for. Um, but it's separated through this awesome glass walkway and it takes us back onto this main floor. So we can head from here up to the second bedroom. It is a loft and you might wanna put these doors on uh, manual because they are doors, but it has a tremendous view. Let's step out onto the best looking part of this build, this balcony. And speaking of best, this may be the best house I've ever made in a tutorial. If this is the first one you guys have ever seen, click on the playlist that's popping up on your screen right now. YouTube thinks they know what you want to watch next, but they are wrong. Watch my building tutorials, watch all of them. And if you're brand new, think about subscribing to the channel. One last thank you to my Patreon supporters. I'm Unite the Clans, and I will see you geeks in the next ARC building tutorial.